Hi guys, I'm Emma and welcome to Art by Emma. So today I'm doing a very loosely linked space activity. I do love space and all things space and out there and extraterrestrial and I like quirky little space cartoons. Um, I don't know if you've seen my little short out there of it. I call it Daft Cow because it's a, a cow being abducted by a spaceship and she just looks like a daft cow so uh, yeah I, li I like that one so I thought I would um, try and make some space-ish themed pins this week using shrink plastic and um, I'm going to display them behind me when they're done I've got some display boards so uh, let's get straight into it shall we so the shrink plastic sheets I've got are A5 size so I've cut some A4 paper in half to use as my templates so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the design onto the paper and then trace it out onto the shrink plastic with my Posca paint pens. So the first design I'm using for my pins is a little adaptation of my Daft Cow uh, cartoon piece that I did. So starting off here with the um, the spaceship, moving on down to the the abduction ray I'm calling it and then finishing with my little daft cow. I'm keeping these designs very simple because once they've gone in the oven they shrink down to about a quarter of their size and you'll lose a lot of the detail. And here's my lovely Posca pens and these are the colours I'm going to be using for uh, for my design. So I stick the uh, shrink plastic onto the paper with the design on just to stop it moving around while I'm laying down the Posca pen colours. And in my excitement to get this completed I did start colouring in on the actual paper. I, I don't know why I just got overexcited. And once that's all stuck into place it's simply a case of filling in the lines just like you would in a colouring book. I do love the metallic Posca paints, they have such a lovely shimmer to them and add just different dimensions to your work. For this project I'm using my 3mm Posca pens, I've got the 5mm, the 3mm and the 1mm, just so that I can get some finer detail in there and, and get into all the small spaces. So just adding the black splodges or patches to my black and white cow and uh, giving him a nice pink nose, pink udders and pink innards to his ears. So just adding some nice metallic pink windows to my flying saucer and then starting with filling in the white on my white cow which started to become a little bit problematic because I couldn't see where I had painted in white and where the white paper was underneath and the thing with is with using Posca pens with shrink plastic. If you put too many layers in one space they end up cracking when they're shrinking in the oven. So just being really careful not to go over the same place more than once. So now I'm adding the, the stencil back on top just to see where the lines of my abduction ray is and uh, completing this by colouring it in that with a nice bright yellow. Ta-da! And there she is in all her glory. So now I'm just going to add some outlining to this piece. I find with cartoon pieces, a little bit of outline really brings it to life. As I said before, I've got the one mil Posca pen set, so I'm using the one mil black marker just to give some nice fine outlines to this piece. And just to add a little extra colour, because you can never have too much colour, I'm putting some different coloured dots into the abduction ray and adding some nice juicy highlights just to give the piece some dimension. So moving swiftly on to the second pin I'm making for this week's video and uh, what video would be complete without a lovely rainbow? I know I said it was space themed, space-ish themed, but a rainbow is in the sky and space is in the sky so you can see my loose um, my loose connection here. So starting with uh, drawing a semicircle onto my paper and um, circles are not my forte so using a guide for this and then putting other semicircles in and using the full spectrum of colours for my rainbow. I'm doing the alternate colours first of all so that I don't get any bleed while I'm waiting for the paint to dry and then I'm going to go back and fill the other stripes in. 
So this is a nice simple design and the simplest of the three pins I make on this video, or so you would think. As you'll find out later in the video, this is the only one that went wrong. So coming to the end of my rainbow design, finishing off with a lovely, lovely green, and finally onto my purple. So just to add a little bit more razzle dazzle to my rainbow, I'm adding some, I guess you'd call these lens flares to the rainbow in white and uh, silver. And finishing that off with some silver and white dots just to give it a little bit more of a glisten. So finishing off my pin collection for this week, I'm going with a simple, maybe stylized shape rocket. Elon, if you're watching, Elon Musk, please use my design for your next rocket. So again, sticking the design to the uh, shrink plastic sheet and uh, colouring in again. I'm going to use some lovely metallics for this nice metal rocket ship. So a nice golden body for my rocket and some red wings and nose cone. And what rocket would be complete without its flame? And again, finishing this cartoon rocket off with some nice fine outlines using my 1mm marker again. And I'm also going to add some metal panelling to the body of the rocket with some stud work, giving it a bit of a steampunk look. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without some nice juicy, juicy highlights. And on to the cutting out now. Um, this part of the procedure is, is quite simple. It's nice to cut the uh, plastic. And as long as you don't make your design too complicated, it's uh, an easy, easy process. Quite fiddly to pick up though sometimes. So just simply cutting out the rainbow um, around one side and around the other and moving on to the rocket ship. So once they're cut out, I'm going to bake them in the oven. Now you bake them at uh, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 160 degrees centigrade or gas mark 5. After about a minute your uh, sheets of shrink plastic will start to curl up and roll in on themselves which looks a bit scary but within time they'll straighten out and you have these lovely plastic hard plastic um, pieces and you can do whatever you want with them. And here they are. Now, as I said earlier, I had a bit of problem with my rainbow. It folded in on itself and I, I just couldn't flatten out that crease. So I've got a bit of a knob at the bottom of my, my rainbow, but hey ho, it is what it is. So I'm gonna finish these off with Mod Podge to give them a bit of a shine, a bit of a shimmer. So just brushing the Mod Podge on to the pieces and then leaving them to dry. And now it's time to get my trusty glue gun out and gluing the pins onto the back of my plastic shrinks. Whilst doing this I realised that I didn't like the effect of the Mod Podge, I wanted something a bit more bulbous so I uh, went on to uh, Amazon and I ordered some Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and once that had arrived I read the instructions and uh, went on and did it. Whilst reading the instructions, it states not to shake the bottle as that causes bubbles. Now this was very hard for me not to do because as soon as I get any bottle of liquid, I just feel the need to shake it. This stuff's actually relatively easy to use. You just, um, I went round the outside, filled all the outside in and then flooded the middle with it. I did have a couple of bubbles which popped quite easily with a cocktail stick. When this dimensional magic had all dried, the effect is, is really rather good. It looks like you've put resin on the top, but without the, um, the need for working with dangerous chemicals. So here they are, here's my lovely pins, my space-ish themed pins. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching my video this week. 
If you have enjoyed watching it, please uh, give me a like. If you enjoy my videos, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell so you never miss a video. Videos come out every Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.